Thanks for joining us. We are talking to Neil McRae, he's Managing Director and Chief Architect at BT Group. Neil, thank you for joining us. Hi Charlotte, it's great to be here. And welcome on board the Habitat. But we're not here to talk about space exploration as such, we're here to talk about 5G. So tell us, what's the state of play currently at BT and where do you stand in your journey to 5G? Yeah, so I mean, we're in rollout mode. We're, uh, we've been doing a lot of pilots, a lot of tests. In fact, we, we had some here last year, we've got one here um, today. And we're now in, in kind of build-out mode. We, we have a, a, a live laboratory, if you will, at Canary Wharf, where you can come and see what real 5G is like. And we're now building out the base stations, putting them on buildings all across uh, 15 different cities um, for our launch later this year. So we're really in 5G deployment mode. It's great to be there after two or three years of us talking about it. It's great to be out there rolling it out and, and being able later this year to give customers you know, what the 5G experience is going to be like. Tell us more about the difference 5G will make to your customers. For many customers, it's going to give them a much better level of service. It's going to give them faster download speeds. It's going to give them connectivity in harder places to reach where we might have struggled before, particularly train stations and places like that where, where it's been harder for us to put connectivity into just because of the new protocols that 5G has. It's probably going to take a couple of years for the smartphones to develop. We've seen some here at Mobile World Congress this week from, from, from the smartphone vendors, but um, you know, really customers are going to see a much better overall experience, uh, be able to download a film much faster, be able to watch live streaming much better in more locations. I'm really excited about it. But it is, you know, 5G is a 10-year journey. It's going to take time for us to build it out everywhere in the UK but you can count on, on BT and EE being first out there and first to give our customers the, this great experience. Now, Neil, there are a range of technologies available for you to accelerate your journey to 5G. Uh, there is hybrid IT, transformational infrastructure, NFE, accelerating the intelligent edge, and of course, AI and ML. So which one do you favor currently? Actually, we're deploying a bit of all of those. As technology has, has has developed, has the network has grown and both grown in size but also importance. What we've discovered at BT is is actually you need you need a very wide range of technologies if you want to give customers the best network experience that you can give them. In the past, you'd have a you know an old-fashioned network center with people at desks trying to keep the network running. Today, the, much more of the network is automated using virtualization and, and cloud native. Much more of the network gives us real what we call live telemetry, telling us what's going on. And we're using um, AI and, and machine learning to actually fix things in the network when they go wrong because the network's so complex now. But actually, more importantly, we as humans can't react fast enough when there is a problem. And, and if you think about you know, what, what 5G is about, it's about um, ultra low latency, it's about high bandwidth, it's about reliable connections. If we really want to embrace that you know, industry 4.0, having a network that's truly available every millisecond of the day is super important. And that's why we're, we're deploying all this automation, uh, virtualization, cloud ready, so that, so that the network is self-healing, self-repairing. And actually, for, for customers, we may, have, we may have problems going on, but customers will never know that, that that's happened because of that automation. Another theme we are discussing at MWC 2019 is intelligence at the edge. Can you tell us more about how it can help you accelerate your journey to 5G? Yeah, for us, we're, we're really looking at the edge as a platform for operators of, of various different technologies to come and bring their applications onto our network so that we can offer them to our customers. Everything from you know, things that are important from a day-by-day -day life point of view to gaming to um, health and safety applications, things that, that support transportation, a wide plethora of, of applications that we want to put as close to the customer as possible on the edge so that the experience for the customer is really, really, really good. It's snappy, it's, 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 it moves quickly, all the things that you expect it to do um, happen. And also for those mission critical services, you know, that are supporting blue light or emergency services, you need to have them on the edge so that the reliability and the availability is there. Neil, thank you very much. You're welcome.